All right, we're here at Surf Expo with Dave Kalama at the Imagine Sup booth. And uh, Dave, um, what are some of the common things that you're seeing, some of the mistakes you're seeing people are making and, and problems that you're seeing with the new paddlers? First of all, hey John, everybody out in distressed land, how you doing? Um, one of the most common mistakes I see is people not putting their paddle all the way into the water. All right? Um, you paid for the whole paddle, so you might as well use the whole paddle. I say that all the time too. Uh, guys from my clinic, you're probably going, haha, I've heard that before. Anyway, get your paddle all the way in the water. The paddle is designed to be most effective when it's completely submerged in the water. You'll get more power, you'll get more speed, more acceleration, and effectively be a better paddler. And so that's a very common mistake I see. There's a lot of other benefits that come from getting the paddle a little deeper uh, besides just getting it in the water, but if you start getting it down to two, four inches under the surface, you start to create even more power. So getting the paddle at least all the way submerged is where you want to go. Deeper is a little better. Obviously, you can go too deep, but at least all the way down into the water. Um, so that's the most common mistake I see. And the easiest way to correct it is by hinging more at the waist to get the paddle deeper, create more power, more torque, more acceleration. Go try it.